Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do a collective haul video for you because it has been a while. I have accumulated a ton of stuff and I just thought I'd go ahead and share it with all you fellow makeup lovers out there. So if you'd like to see what I purchased in this collect haul, then just keep watching. Raise your hand if you have a makeup problem. Raise your hand if you spent way too much money on makeup. I feel like that's a trick question. I feel like you can never spend too much money on makeup. Or is that just me? Does anyone else just kind of like swipe their card and not really worry about the consequences of their actions until later? So the first thing that I wanted to show you, I actually did get on sale. So does that justify not really spending that much money? I did end up getting this bag from Victoria's Secret. It is this makeup train case and it is pink with like a, um, you, can you call this like a, like a textured like alligator, fake alligator skin, fake skin thing. Anyways. So the first thing that I'm going to be showing you is something that I didn't think that I was actually going to be getting. I just ended up going into Ulta the day that it released and swatched it and really couldn't resist. So the first thing that I got was the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. I really love this palette. It's what I'm wearing on my eyes today. I don't know if you can see it though because I am wearing my glasses, but I really like the matte shades in this palette. Um, they show up really nicely on my skin tone. So this is what the swatches look like. And I really like them. I think that they're super pretty, super pigmented, and I actually, since buying it, have used it every single day. So definitely worth the money. Another palette that I did end up picking up is the uh, BH Cosmetics Carly Bible Palette. And as you can see, I have used this one a lot as well. I use mostly, again, the matte tones in this just because um, matte tones are more of my preference. Not that I have anything against the shimmery shades, but I just feel like the mattes I can use more on a day-to-day -day basis. And then I kind of do my all-over lid color with a shimmer shade. So that's what they look like on my arm. I did end up picking up two new palettes from Wet n Wild as well. They are both the all natural palettes. Um, this one is in the colors Nude Awakening, and then this one is in the color Bare Necessities. I feel like they kind of look similar in their like tones because they are more of a like um, rosy, there's more like rosy tones in here that are kind of like on the same family, so yeah. I just thought I'd try these out and see if they're any good since they are uh, drugstore eyeshadow palettes. I picked up two um, Super Shock shadows from ColourPop. This one in Static, and this was like a maroon color, and then this one in Truth. And this one is a nice like uh, beige color. They're super soft and super buttery to swatch. They're so nice. I went ahead and picked up another Wet n Wild uh, Photo Focus uh, setting spray. I feel like this is a really nice setting spray and I really love it and nice. It's only about $7 from the drugstore so it's not going to break the bank too much. I also picked up two new products from NYX. I've already used these ones as well. This is the NYX HD Studio Finishing Powder and I just use this as my setting powder and to bake under my eyes and to bake where my glasses kind of sit because I do notice that um, it does get like kind of oily there with my glasses like rubbing back and forth. And then I picked up the NYX Illuminator in the color Ritualistic. I do need more of a like blinding highlight in my opinion just to kind of like show up on my skin and you probably can't even see it because again I swatch like really bad but there it is and I really like it it's it's definitely up there in you know affordability um, the color that I want and all that I did pick up a new um, elf daily brush cleaner I did go a little bit overboard with lipstick, so I did pick up this color from Essence, which is long lasting. It is um, a very nice, like, maroon color. So 
that's the color right there. And then I did do more of a like nude pinky color. And that is the color Come Naturally. So that is Long Lasting. And then this one is Come Naturally. I did pick up a Vice lipstick from Urban Decay as well. This is in the color Back Talk, which is what I am wearing on my lips today. And I just really like that it's a like very natural nude color. All right, and that is going to be it for today's video. If you liked it, you can always feel free to give the video a big thumbs up. Otherwise, if you're not, you can always feel free to subscribe to my channel down below if you liked the content that I put out. If you've tried any of these products, feel free to let me know in the comment box down below what you think of them or anything that you kind of uh, want to suggest for me to try out in the future. Otherwise, I will see you next week for my next video. Bye!